In case you've lost count or can't remember that far back, Wing Armada is the fifth game in the Wing Commander series. Yeah, I was pretty surprised myself when I sat down and actually counted. That isn't counting the mission discs, but does include Privateer. The whole point to Wing Armada is the ability to play with other humans with a campaign mode and strategy game thrown in for good measure. This is Origin's first multiplayer head-to-head -head game and it's obvious they wanted to get it right. Choosing battle mode, like any real Wing Commander player should, takes you to this menu. You can play by yourself, but what's the point? A better way to play is with a buddy using either a split-screen view or via modem. For the supreme Wing Commander experience, jump into the cockpit with up to five other players for some head-to-head -head dogfights across the network. There are ten different ships to choose from, five Confederate and five Kilrathi. This might be changed in the final release, but even now you have a nice variety of ships to choose from. Each has different performance characteristics and armament, offering advantages and disadvantages to choosing it. Of the ten ships, six are entirely new, with one Confed and one Kilrathi ship, each coming from Privateer and Wing Academy. Armada's graphic engine is a preview of the forthcoming Wing 3 engine, and it is sweet. Each ship is adorned with beautiful colors and crisp detail, even at close ranges. A new and welcome graphic element is the activation of the shields when hit, appearing as a transparent blue sphere surrounding the target. This is a really, really cool addition. Another great new feature In is developing the invisible cockpit. With it, all the cockpit details are switched off, giving you a full screen view with necessary data supplied by superimposed HUDs. The music and sound effects are top notch from the screech of your guns firing to the thunderous roar of your target bursting into a ball of flame. When the game is released, you will also be able to record your own taunts to hurl at your opponent. Control is excellent. We played the game using a Flight Stick Pro and a Jet Stick from CH Products, as well as a weapons control system from Thrustmaster, and all performed well. The keyboard control for the split screen mode wasn't all that good, however, due to keyboard conflicts, all that should be ironed out by the time Wing Armada hits the stores. If you want more than just to blast the hell out of your friends, Armada also includes a strategy game. In it, you manage the resources of the planets you control while sending out scout ships and transports to subjugate others. And, of course, when you locate planets belonging to your opponents, you have to use military force to oust them and keep them from ousting you. Naturally, when combat occurs, it's back to the cockpit with you flying at the head of the wing. We'll be right back after these messages. Do you have what it takes to storm the Castle Intamar and retrieve the mighty Axe Kamalkad? You don't have to go alone. Take three companions to help in your quest. Fight off the mighty Taldors and practice a little medieval chemistry. It's up to you to lead your group of hardy adventurers in the search for Kamalkad, the Axe of Power, and reunite the dwarves in Bloodstone from Minecraft. Not only is Bloodstone included free with this episode of IE, but we also give you helpful hints to fulfill your quest. Be sure to check out our Bloodstone tutorial under the Hints and Tips selection from the Table of Contents. Forget reading. Subscribe to IE. 12 episodes, only $59. Call now. And now, back to interactive entertainment. Overall, Wing Armada appears to have what it takes to be an absolutely great game. It's got something for everyone. Battle mode for those beastly networks, Armada mode for strategy buffs, and campaign mode for the old-fashioned Wing Commander jockeys. So get your joystick lubed up, because Wing Armada is on its way.